Hi, I'm Lynn, and I'm on a mission to uncover, document, and revive Singapore's disappearing heritage, food, and festivals. I grew up in a very traditional Chinese uh, family. I grew up with my mom recording you know, on video cassettes the stories of like the Romance of Three Kingdoms. Or even like Liu Zhu Hui so the sixth patriarch of the Zen Buddhism. Or even like uh, Wong Fei Hong. <laughs> After watching Wong Fei Hong movies, I wanted to join uh, and learn more about martial arts. When Kong Chao Wei Gun, one of the oldest clan associations in Singapore, started offering martial arts lessons at Lin Wong Secondary School, she signed up immediately. Yet beyond the skills, Lin found a deeper meaning in the art form and continued learning. She saw it and the clan association culture as something worth preserving. Having grown up in a 180-year-old clan association, I admire the kind of virtues and traditions they have. And I like to pass it on as well. And I felt that this is a responsibility for me to do it because uh, there was a lack of awareness about this community. Lin was five years into her PhD program at Leading Business School in Sid. But when her grandparents passed away, she felt that it was time to leave her studies and pursue her passion. So I never knew how much they mattered to me until when I lost them. So that's when I decided that I should follow my heart and do what I feel I will not regret in life. So uh, every day is uh, bound with different challenges because there's a lot of different elements of intangible cultural heritage that I'm doing. Uh, some days I might be uh, digitizing old photographs and some days I might be out in the field documenting the seven lunar month celebrations, looking at how rituals are being conducted. And sometimes I might just be having tea with say the Cantonese priests to understand how was Sego Lane like in the past. Her most daunting task to date has been organizing the Ho Ye Festival in 2018. It was the first ever Cantonese and Hakka-themed festival aimed at inspiring youth to connect with their roots. As the project director, Lin roped in 18 organizations and over 100 youth volunteers for the event. Participants were able to learn more about cultural heritage through games, free food, and hands-on workshops. I hope that the younger generation can start asking their family members where they come from. Our forefathers came from different lands and they made the crucial decision to settle here and make us Singaporeans today. I feel that knowing that we are all part of this very continuous and interweaving tapestry will give us a sense of rootedness. And this is what we can tap on to discover the multifaceted and very rich histories that make us truly Singaporean. What makes me happy is when I manage to touch someone's life. Me, a senior who is in a clan association, or even just a student who is just trying to learn about the, our heritage so that she can docent for members of public at the exhibition. So I believe as long as we can touch someone's life, be it small or big, that is what truly matters.